Okay, so we're going to take a look at one of the other tools that, uh, that we'll use this semester. Uh, it is this website right here. So I don't know if it's REPL or REPEL. I'm not really sure, but I think I sell REPL most of the time. Anyway, uh, so it's REPL.IT, and that is our uh, the website that we're going to. You should have signed up for an account. If you haven't, go ahead and sign up for an account. And uh, at this point, I'll show you just kind of briefly how the site works uh, and some, some basic functions with it. So as you come in here, you can see mine is, uh, I'm under the My Repels tab right here. Uh, mine is a teacher account, so it has a few other little things in it, but it's really not much different than what you'll see. Uh, and we're rolling through here, so you can see uh, if we wanted to continue coding and it put these programs up here to keep going, or it does... Um, by I think it's most recently active programs is how it lists them here right now. Uh, if you uh, wanted to star a program, you can put a star on a couple programs or all of them or a few special ones, right? I mean that's the idea. And then when you click this, it would you know just show the starred ones. So there's there's that kind of stuff. Now remember this is this is free. So uh, when you're signing up. Uh, you don't have to do a paid plan. We won't use anything in the paid plan. Uh, but if you want to, you know, set up a paid plan and, and give them some money to keep the lights on here, then great. Uh, so good, good for them. But uh, it's a, it's a, this is just an awesome tool. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and go down and show you just creating a new one. So once you have all these things in here, and you may have nothing in here right now, as I said, because this is my repels here. But if I'm going to go down here and hit this little um, red plus, and you can see it pops up with the uh, three languages that were the most recently used. So for my classes, it's C++, Java, and Python 3. So I'm going to go ahead and click on C++, and you'll see it will go ahead and jump in uh, to uh, the, our little coding platform that we have in here. So dealing with files in here, so if you have multiple files you're using, this is where you'd use them. So like, for example, Java um, and some of the other things that we'll do later on in C++. Uh, you can change all this stuff, though, and you can drag the windows and make them bigger or smaller or whatever you might want to do here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on settings, though, to show you a couple things. So you can see I have side by side. I think by default it does stacked. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I'd rather see side by side because I want to see more of the code at once. Uh, and then I, I kind of like the dark theme, but if you want to use the light theme, I'll probably use a mix as we're doing this throughout the semester. Um, but dark seems to show up a little bit better. I don't know for me, I, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but you can set all sorts of different things in here and, and play with it that way. Or here's another if you click on this and you say new. So you need a new file here. Okay, so I wanted to mention the names very quickly. And you may have noticed some of the names that uh, that were under my repels a second ago. Um, and you can see on here that, so this is my little username piece right here. And this is how it saves them. Uh, and then it does a forward slash. And then they partner with this with a site that does like, crazy names so um, sometimes they're pretty comical uh, but you'll see it has different names in here but you don't want to leave them that way otherwise it becomes very confusing if you just have like funny names all the way down your list and you're like man I have no idea which program uh, this is gonna be here so I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and you click the little pencil and it will let you edit okay and this is where you would give it uh, your name so I would suggest to you that you do something that's descriptive so you know if you're doing you know something in chapter 2 and you notice that the, the file is I don't know what, what might we do in here miles per gallon and I don't know why I capitalize everything there it's not a big deal you doesn't have to have uh, you know you don't have to have you know variable naming convention this is just whatever you want to save it as it'll save it in here and you can add description if you'd like uh and then you're going to go ahead when you're done with that if you just kind of click anywhere it updates it so here's my now my file is set up here okay and then when you do your do your code um it'll it'll run in here so let's do let's see let's go ahead and well we don't I guess we can just run this, right? Uh, so we run this little code. I mean, we can put our own in here and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's a little bit different than what we have been using because we have been um, importing uh, the standard namespace. So this is another way of doing it. So you may see this online where uh, it's saying, okay, this is saying, hey, standard. This is the namespace we're going to use, and we want to use Cout. Uh, so we will do it the way that we're doing it now in the book because we're consistent with that throughout the whole uh, semester so this just gives you an idea though there are some there are other ways of doing things All right so we're uh, we didn't you notice you don't see the namespace piece in here but that's because they're doing it right here with this uh, little section here okay so anyway so it'll output it over here You'll see the way things work uh, as they go through. If you have an input, that it'll ask you for an input, um, you know, and it'll uh, display things that way. So 
again, very, very useful tool um, running it through here. And then when you're done, you know your file's done. It does cloud save. So every time you make a change, it saves it. All right. And you have to be a little bit careful with that. I'll show you forking in a second. But for now, when you, let's say you're done with this. This is an assignment that you've done for class. You're ready to turn it in. This is the way you would do it. So click the share button. And then there is a link here. So when you have this link, you can just click on it. Notice how it highlights the whole thing. And then you can just do right click and do copy. And then you can go into Canvas. And in Canvas, you'll see under the assignments, you'll see Submit Assignment. And then as soon as you click on the Submit Assignment button, then it brings up the option to tell it which assignment that you're or which thing you're submitting. I don't have I don't think I have files active for any of the first ones for sure. Uh, but you would just put in the U where it says URL, put the um, put the cursor in there, right click and say paste, and it will put this in here. That way I can go in, click on the link, uh, take a look at this, run it live, uh, make comments, uh, you know, whatever I might want to do in the code, uh, and I can then do my own share, send that link right back to you, and you can see exactly what uh, what I did in there. So anyway, that's that's one option. A lot of times, if it, you know, I may just put comments in the, the – uh, uh, grading section in Canvas right under the assignments. I'll use the comments window there and I'll put little comments in there about, you know, hey, you know, whatever it might be. So maybe you have a new cool way of doing something and I'll make a comment about it, you know, whatever it might be. All right. So so that's the option there. Now, let's say that you have programs that you're working on and you have kind of a base code that you've set up and it does one particular thing, but then you need to modify it to add something else in. But you want to make sure you keep your other code, right? So there's an option in here. Uh, because this is cloud save, if I go here and I, you know, my chapter two miles per gallon program that we're working on, if now all of a sudden I have um, new code that I'm putting in here, whatever it might be, I'm adding in all this new code and, uh, you know, whatever. Then it modifies the original file, it's saving it each time. You can go back. There's a revision and a history uh, option to go back step by step, but but uh, it's very labor intensive. And in you know, keep in mind as it's saving this, as you make different keystrokes, it's saving along the way. It's really a pain to do that. So what I would do instead: leave your original file, okay? And we've got our original file here. Kind of hate the way they have this laid out, but uh, but it's okay. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and use an option called forking. So I'm going to click on this under edit again. And you see this little button that says fork on it. This is what you want. So this is your copy and paste that creates a new file using your old file as a base. So see now how this says chapter two miles per gallon dash one. Now it's a completely new file. So now if I make modifications in my code and I add new things in here, it does not impact my original file. So you have to be very careful of doing that because if you send me a link for the chapter two miles per gallon file and then you go in and you make a bunch of changes uh, to that particular file, um, I'm going to see the most recent changes in there. So, and you may not want me to see that. You may want me to see the original before you start messing with it and doing something completely different. So let's say you just jump in here and you're, you know, using an old code to just uh, load up a, a, an assignment that you're, you turned into Canvas. And then you just dump all the code that's in there and do the next assignment. Uh, you know, you're going to have a problem with the fact that it's going to overwrite that. So you have to be very, very careful of that. So don't, if you're going to modify a piece of code that you already have complete, Make sure you click on edit and click fork and let it create a new one for you. So your space in here, at least so far, the way that uh, this website's been set up is uh, you don't have to worry about space. So, so far I haven't reached any kind of limit and I have a lot of code in here. Uh, so I think it's great. It's an amazing website. You'll love it. Um, that's the way you're going to share assignments, but be very careful about uh, overwriting a, an assignment that you have. Okay. So don't just erase and keep going. Give it, do a, use a fork, then go ahead and do that. Okay.